Hey everyone, let's dive a little bit deeper into creating your YouTube channel art. So this will be a tutorial of exactly how to do it. The channel art, remember, is this artwork at the top of your channel, which is this big bar right here. You can see mine here and Mike and Lauren's. I really like how Mike and Lauren have the schedule of their videos, how they post them, which will increase your subscribers because they can expect new videos, but make sure that you stick to that schedule if you do this. So how do you create the perfect looking channel artwork? First, search for YouTube channel art in Google, and then go down to this support.google.com address. It's the create or edit channel art button because this includes a template that you can use. So if you scroll down on this page, you can see channel art templates, and this will download. I'll download this to my desktop so that we can see it. I'll go ahead and open this up. So let's show that in Finder. And you can see I'm working on a bunch of stuff. So inside this, you have a PNG and a Photoshop file. If you have Photoshop, go ahead and use Photoshop to create this, which is what I'm going to be doing. But if you have any other sort of program like GIMP or even PowerPoint, you can create a, a basically a project that is this size, which is 2560 pixels wide by 1440 pixels tall, and then place this as a PNG image right here. And you can see if you place this into your project, you have an idea of where to place all of these different parts of your channel art. But it's a lot easier if you use Photoshop, which you can download a free trial of by searching for Photoshop trial and you'll be taken to the Adobe site to download a 30 day free trial. Anyways, let's get into to Photoshop by double clicking the channel art template. And I'll actually just go ahead and upload this channel template to this video so it will be in the resources. So here you can see the different sizes that you have to be aware of. The biggest square, you're probably wondering, when will you ever use this big square? You use this big rectangle box when someone is searching your channel on the TV. And since so many more people are using Apple TV and Chromecast and Kindle Fire Stick to use the YouTube app on their actual television and not just on their computer or smartphone, this might be shown. So you want to make sure that your channel art covers this entire area. And then for the desktop mask max and the desktop minimum and the tablet size, this is just the different sort of bars and widths that might be shown on your desktop and your tablet. You really want to make sure that you have this text and logo safe area covered because this is really what you'll be seeing when you go to a YouTube channel like this one and you see this channel. So let me go ahead and just show you what it would look like if I squeeze in. It does get a little bit smaller compared to when it's wider like so. So make sure that's covered. So what would you do now? Now I would find an image. So a great place to find images is a site called pixabay.com. That's P-I-X-A-B-A-Y.com. So say we're tr creating a channel about travel. So something that I'm really passionate about. What we can do is search for travel. These are all free to use images that you can actually use on your own channel for your own artwork in your videos, however you want. So travel, this isn't really coming up with anything that interesting that would represent my channel. So I'm going to search for map. So that's looking pretty good. So I like this image right here with the glasses and this old map. Now I can download this by clicking free download. I'm going to do original size to get the biggest size and saying download. You do have to sign up if you want to download these images, which I have an account. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Now I'm going to go ahead and download it. And you can download it wherever you want. I'm just gonna put it on my desktop. I'll go back to Photoshop. I'll find that image and I'll just drop it into Photoshop. So now this appears below the spec. This is the area that is showing me this little overlay of my safe area. And that's good, I want my photo to be below that so I can see where everything is. 
what I'm going to do is increase the size of this so that it covers this entire area just by increasing the size like so and then moving it around. I don't like how the glasses show up right here because when someone comes to my YouTube channel, just this area will appear. And so what I'll do is just move it up a bit. So this is a really cool background still. And maybe I'll increase it and rotate it just a bit just to see what it looks like that. Still making sure that it covers everything, but just getting a more interesting part of this image, more of it in focus. And actually having it out of focus is kind of nice because then I can include text and logo, which is what I'll do next. But first, no, you might want to check what it looks like without this overlay by turning on and off this eyeball so you can see what it looks like here. So that would be what it looks like on the TV. And then here you can imagine what it looks like on the YouTube channel. So then I'm just going to take my text tool. I will click in here. And actually this is, they give you an actual text box that you can use where the text and logo safe area. I'm actually going to not use that text box. I will go ahead and lock this so I can't click it. Now I'm going to create a new text box. So I'll just say Phil's travel channel. And then this is just a little bit more about design, but you want to make sure you design everything to look right. And I often like using big, bold fonts. So I will do that. I'm going to use League Spartan, which is one of my favorite fonts of all time. And I'll do all caps. And I know I'm going a little bit fast, but I don't want to create a Photoshop class for this YouTube channel for this YouTube class. I do have a Photoshop tools class that's free if you want to check that out. I'm just going to turn off this spec layer just so I can see what it looks like. So you notice that the text is a little bit too light for the background and you want to make sure that it stands out. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And so I'm going to either change the color to make it a different color, something that pops, something like that might be better or maybe a blue. That's pretty good. Or I can also add a stroke to this text. And an easy way to do that is just by double clicking it and use choosing stroke, which is right here. And I can choose a white stroke for here. That looks pretty good. Something like that's pretty cool. So then I could go in, make sure that it's in the right position still. I could add text about what my schedule is and everything else. You design it. And then when you save it, you want to make sure that you turn off the spec layer right here and then save it as a JPEG. So go up to File, Export, or just Save As. And when save as pops up, I'm just going to save it as a JPEG. I'll call this Phil's travel channel artwork. Save it. Save it as max quality. Save OK. Now on my desktop, I have Phil's channel artwork. This is what it looks like. This You might be wondering, how is this going to look like on your own channel? But then when you go back to your channel, and let me just go into my own channel actually. So let's open up YouTube and go to my own channel while I'm logged in. To edit the channel artwork, you would click this edit button, edit channel art, and then you would upload it. So let's just go ahead and see what it looks like if I go ahead and upload that, te that temporary travel artwork. So it says it's a max file size of four megabits. So you want to make sure that it's not that big. And it gives you a, a preview of how it looks. You can adjust the crop after this. So if I say adjust crop, I can zoom in, for example. I can move this in if I want to do like that. But since I created the exact size that I wanted, I don't want to make any crop. So I'm not going to do this because obviously this is Video School Online's channel, not Phil's travel channel. But that is how you would create your YouTube channel art with Photoshop and using the template that they provide, which I'll also add to the resources of this video on Udemy if you're watching it there. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps and go out, create some great artwork and we'll see you in another tutorial.